everyone, it's Sarah here and today's video is all about how to start wearing colour with confidence and to learn how to mix colours that go well together. If you're someone who always gravitates towards black or you don't know how to mix colours well, then let me know in the comments below by saying I want to wear more colour. In this video I'm going to be focusing on complementary colour primarily and I'm going to be using my precision dyed drapes which I use for colour analysis with my clients to explain this. So one of the best tools you can have for learning about colour and how to mix it is this little cutter wheel. They are really inexpensive to get and easy easy to get as well so you can buy them online or your local art and hobby shop or something like that but it is really handy to help you try to understand colour and how to mix colour. So just a little bit of information about the colour wheel. You have the cooler colours on one side and they're kind of, it's cut through right about here. So you've got your cool colours on this side and your warmer colours on this side. So that's the very basic. You've got some other, uh, a dial here you can move around. If you add a yellow to a colour, if you add red to a colour, you'll get different colours. So that is the first side of the colour wheel. The other side is also really helpful. It tells you more about tints, shades and tones. So a tint is when you add white to a colour, a shade is when you add black to a colour and a tone is where you add grey to a colour. What I want to focus on today is complementary colours. So complementary colours sit opposite each other on the colour wheel. So if you look at the colour wheel you can see that in the middle you have an arrow uh, pointing directly at one colour and on the opposite uh, you've got the complementary colour. So it's really really very easy to, to use. You can move it around, point it at the colour that you want and it'll point directly to the opposite colour on the wheel. So if we kind of move it to the blue we can see that it points to the orange. So here are the cloths I use, an orange cloth and the blue cloth. Here are the cloths that I use, so here's the orange one and the blue one. And you can see here that they are in stark contrast to each other, they're at opposite ends of the colour wheel or opposite sides. One is very cool, one is very warm. So when you begin to mix colours like this, the colours really pop. And the same goes for makeup as well. If you have blue eyes and use kind of a warm orange around the eye, your blue eyes are really going to pop. And if we do the same here, we point at purple on the very opposite is yellow. And here are those two hues together, the purple and the yellow, and they really complement each other beautifully. And we'll take a look at the blue green now. So we see the blue green here and directly opposite is red orange. I hope the colours are coming up okay on the camera but they work beautifully together and are definitely going to add a lot of interest to an outfit rather than just say, <laughs> rather than just wearing this colour. Think about wearing maybe a necklace or a scarf or earrings in this colour and it's just going to add so much more interest to your outfit. Let's do one more. So I'm going to move the colour wheel to green and on the opposite side we have red. So we're starting to look a little bit festive now with red and green. You'll see these colours everywhere this time of year. Well, if you're watching around Christmas time anyway. And uh, again, these work great together, uh, look very festive. <laughs> so maybe be careful of the time of year you wear them but again, really easy to do and they work together great. So the colours that I've just shown you there are on the outer side of the colour wheel. Like I said before, if you add white to a colour, you come up with a tint. If you add white to the yellow colour that I showed you earlier, you get something lighter like this, kind of more pastel and kind of lemony colour. So again, we know that the yellow goes with purple from the previous uh, example. But if you want to start mixing lighter colours, for example, you will also go for the lighter purple and they will work great together. The same goes for if you add grey to colours, so add grey to both colours and work with those colours there. Or again, with black you get the shade of a colour and again you will take the shade of green, for example, and the shade of red, which will go together beautifully. This is also a great way to 
get colors in your wardrobe that aren't in your color palette to start working for you. If you are a winter color, for example, orange is not a color that's going to be in your color palette. So if we put that up, it's not going to work best with a winter coloring. It's going to be too jarring. It's going to make you look sallow, maybe a little bit sick or a bit tired, which is not what you want to do. So if you have something like this in your closet and you want to make it work, let me get rid of this. You can easily start to make it work with wearing a blue scarf, for example, or blue earrings, blue necklace, and you can start wearing the things that you thought could not work for you. So that's just a little introduction to color theory and complementary colors. I will do more videos on color theory and how to start wearing maybe three, four colors in your in your outfit and making it work. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And also you can get me over on Instagram as well. Find me by searching for at thestylecoach.ie. See you next time.